Alrighty guys, how you guys doing? In this video I'm going to do a speed test between these two machines here. And this is the new 15 inch MacBook Pro 2011 2GHz and the full spec of this machine is appearing on the screen. And of course this is also the new iMac 2011 high end. Again the specs for that are appearing as well. First thing I'm going to do for the test is boot both machines up at the same time and then we're going to do some iMovie test. So for this first test we're going to start both machines at the same time. One, two, and three. As you can tell from the specs, the differences are, you know, the iMac is a quad-core i5. This is a quad-core i7. Although that's clocked up at 3.1, this is clocked up at 2. The RPM, the speed of the hard drive, this one, the MacBook Pro, is 5,400. Whereas that one is a higher one. It's a 1 terabyte and it's, uh, the speed is 7,200 RPM. And the iMac has a better graphics card. But it looks like... The MacBook Pro has won by literally seconds. Uh, and let's go ahead and try out number two, which is the iMovie tests. So basically for this next test, I'm going to import the same file into iMovie on both machines and both are being optimized fully. And uh, this is where the processes are going to come in hand. Let's press import now on both machines and uh, let's see which one is winning so far. The MacBook Pro is showing at roughly 27, 28 minutes, whereas the iMac is shown as 18 minutes. Um, of course, then again, this has been quad core i5 at 3.1 gigahertz. This is a core i7, despite it being a core i7, uh, it's clocked at 2.0. This has now dropped to 21 minutes, and the iMac is now on 16 minutes. Uh, so really it's a really a difference of four to five minutes tops and the purpose of this is to give you an idea Whether you should go and get a MacBook Pro, you know, how the speed difference is since I've got a lot of questions on You know, is a MacBook Pro powerful? How powerful is it? Can you do a comparison? And I guess this is your comparison more accurate time now 20 minutes the MacBook, the iMac is 15 minutes. And for this final test, and probably most important, exporting an HD file, both of the same files, 1080p on both machines. Let's see what the result is. I'm going to press the start button, or the export button at the same time, one, two, and three. Let's see what timings we get. It does take a few times for the MacBook Pro and the iMac to kind of get an accurate time. This has shown up as 32 minutes down back up to 36 so it's still trying to figure it out whereas the iMac is 22 minutes back up to 32 minutes the iMac let's give you a pan of the actual screen so that you have an idea let's go into the MacBook Pro first there we go and so it's shown up as that time there 37, 38 let's pan over to the iMac There we go, 32 minutes, 31 minutes, and the MacBook Pro. Thirty-four minutes. So basically the MacBook Pro is thirty-four minutes and the iMac is about thirty minutes. Again, a four or well, four to five minute difference, same as the import test. So guys, that's it for this video. 4 to 5 minute difference between the import and export test. I hope this has helped. If you're getting an iMac or a MacBook Pro, why are you getting it? And if you have any more questions, leave in the comments and I will get back to you. Remember to check out iGlassRegion.com. You can join me on Twitter.com slash i6GlassRegion. Be sure to check out my new venture, iGear.com. Should have some info more information up in the next few days on that. But apart from that, if you have any questions, tweet them over. Send me a message through iGlassRegion.com. And guys, I'll see you guys in another life. Cheers. Looking to send a package at the lowest price possible? Simple. Visit parcelmonkey.co.uk, follow these four simple steps, have the package collected from your doorstep, and then sit back and relax.